Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about interpolation. Angular interpolation is used to display component properties into the respective view template with the help of double curly braces. Okay, we can display all kind of properties data into view uh, like a string, number, date, arrays, list or map. All right. Data binding consists of uh, one-way data binding and uh, two-way data binding. Interpolation is used for one-way data binding. All right. So let's create some properties and display it into the component view. So switch to the project and inside this project, just click on SRC folder and then app. And from here, just uh, open app.component.ts file. Okay. And inside this file, just create some properties. Okay, so just type here. I'm just going to create a property like uh, first name. Okay, let's say first name is Carrie. All right, last name. Smith. and create a properties for email let's say carry a snap and create signal.com okay create one properties for phone let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine zero age let's say twenty four Hobbies All right, just create an array here. So just write here. Let's say first hobby a reading story Another hobby watching movie Okay And create one more. Let's say playing cricket Okay, now create uh, another property. Let's say address object. So just write here this one and just a street. Oh, okay, a street colon. Let's add here some address. Let's say one five four zero one. Uh, Williams testing okay city testing just right here USTIN uh, state just right here the California okay all right now save this app.component.ts file and uh, now access these properties into app.component.html file okay so just open this file and here just access first name and uh, last name so i'm just going to type here name and just add here the curly bracket okay double curly bracket this is the interpolation syntax and just now add here uh, this property's name okay first name now give the space and add here the double curly bracket and last name all right now save the file and let's check so switch to the browser and just go to the localhost 4200 and you can see here name carrie smith okay now display the phone number email and age okay so just write here just add here the br tag and email 
double curly bracket and just write here email okay in similar way just uh, write here phone and add here the Alright, now save the file and see in the browser. It's compiling, compile successful. And here you can see name, email, phone, and age. Okay. Alright, now let's access uh, this hobbies. Okay, so inside this app component, just uh, right here hobbies and you can see here this is the decision array so just write here hobbies inside the double curly bracket hobbies okay add the br tag now save the file compile successful and you can see here the hobbies reading the story, watching movies and playing cricket. Alright, if you want to display any one hobbies, then just write here inside the component app.component.html file. Uh, if you want to print single hobby, so just write here hobby and hobbies and just add the index. Okay. I'm just going to print first index, so just write here 0. Now save the file and compile successfully. And you can see here the first hobby. Okay, reading a story. Reading a story. And now if I add here 1 and save the file. And uh, okay, you can see here the second hobbies all right uh, similar way if you add here two it will display last hobby third hobby okay playing cricket all right now uh, let access the address this is the object object property okay so for accessing this just write here address in curly bracket double curly bracket uh, just write here the properties name which is address dot object property which is a street okay first one is a street so just write here the street Put the comma here and just write here address dot city and last add the state here so just write here address dot state all right now save the file Compile successful and you can see here the address. Okay. You can also use the arithmetic operation with interpolation. Uh, for example, you can just write here the arithmetical operation like addition. So for addition, just write here, let's say 4 plus 4. Okay and uh, just add the br tag subtraction we just write here it says 7 minus 2 add the br tag okay and just write here addition of 4 and 4 
I'll just write here this okay just add here subtraction of 7 minus 2 multiplication let's say 4 into 5 so just write here 4 asterisk 5 add the PR tag and division let's say 16 divided by 2 okay so just write here inside the curly bracket double curly bracket 16 divided by 2 b tag okay now save the file and see the result so switch to the browser and you can see here 4 plus 4, 8, 7 minus 2, 5, 4 into 5, 20, and 60 divided by 2, 30. Okay. So, in this way, you can use interpolation in Angular 10. So, that's all about Angular 10 interpolation. So, thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.